A very good morning to all of you listeners and Om Shanti to all of you. I hope you are doing well. And uh, today before we go ahead with our godly blessing, let's have a look at the link above over here which takes you towards yoga, flexibility, diet and sleep patterns. Everything is mentioned away in details. Have a look. And all the links are also given. So, in today's blessing, 183rd day of blessing, God the Father is asking us a question. What is the right method of doing service? Service doesn't just mean that you have to do something in a very big way. Even serving your family as a parent serving your children, as a children serving your parents, your family members, husband, wife, wife to husband, and the society then, and then the city, and then the country. So what is the right method so that there is no conflict and confusion? Let's have a look at that, what Baba has to say. Baba says, may you be an image of renunciation, renounce I, renounce my, renounce my idea and many more things we'll discuss here. And a server, may you be an image of renunciation and a server who renounces the consciousness of I and remains constantly lost in service. Yeah, we can be constantly lost in service only when we are not thinking about I did this, but what did that person do? I did this and the other person took away my complete uh, hard work. He took the onus of it. Or he stole away my pride or my work. That is also something which is about I. So, Baba says, a server will be able to experience success in service when he has renounced the consciousness of I. See, everything in this world is not mine. The ideas also, if you think that they are God-given, Things around me are God-given. Money is also God-given. Talents are also God-given. The different skills which we have are also God-given. Then there is no consciousness of I. Then there is nothing like somebody stole away my idea, somebody took away my idea, or it was my idea, or it was my method, or it was my money, or it was my gadget, or my equipment, or anything which comes to your mind when you feel bad about doing something for others and then you stop doing it because of all these reasons. That's why the consciousness of I is very, very crucial to be removed. Baba says, I am doing service. That is wrong. I have done this service. Wrong. That is ego again. Renounce even this feeling of doing service. Baba says, you're not doing service. It should be natural. In the golden age, nobody thinks of that I've done something for the other person. Because in the golden age, there is no consciousness of I. So in the golden age, people are naturally doing things for the other people. People are not thinking that this is something which belongs to me. And I have given this person so much of wealth or so much of money or so much of help or uh, whether I'll get it in return or not. Nobody is thinking like that. That's where that's golden age and this is Kalyug or the Iron Age where people, everybody's mind is rusted. In simple terms, Rusted means people are expecting things in return, people are doing things only when they, they are appreciated or they get things in return or they have something to find as adding to their own coffers. So, people are getting selfish. Baba says, remove that I. So, Baba says, I didn't do it. The consciousness should be, I didn't do it. But I am Karanhar. Karanhar means one who does. That means somebody is getting done from me, right? And the father is Karavanhar, one who inspires me to do it. Let the consciousness of I become merged in the father's love. When we love somebody, if we don't do it and expect something out of it, like a parent's or a mother's service to his child, to her child, or when the child is growing up, the parents are not thinking about, oh, when this person grows up or this child grows up, he'll do something back for me. Well, in today's world, they do so. That's again the consciousness of I causes today. The relationship between parents and children is also so impure. <laughs> anyway, so even between husband and wife, it's all about give and take. We have even mentioned that relationships are all about give and take. God says it's not about give and take. It's only about give, not take. So... Baba says, let the consciousness of I become merged in the Father's love. So when we love somebody or when we love Father, when we are doing service, we never think about this is my service or this is my idea, this was my plan or I should have been put first. Or let's say you gave the idea but you were never brought about on the stage. You were never called upon on the stage. You are at the back. 
and somebody else got the honors or the laurels or earned the laurels or uh, got appreciation for what you had planned for what will you do then that's what baba says think about it so let the consciousness of i become merged in the father's love this is known as being constantly lost in service being an image of renunciation and a true server the one who is inspiring me is making me do it god is inspiring me he is making me do it this world is transient all the souls over here are transient things around me are transient so ideas are also transient because god is giving me the ideas god's world five elements are also godly uh, everything is given by god around me this phone through which i am doing this recording is also gift of god i did it my phone or my idea sorry then the service will not last longer so baba says the one who is inspiring me is making me do it and i am just an instrument to have the consciousness of i mixed with doing service means to be dependent that means something happens to something i'll be so dependent or i'll be agitated or i'll get or we'll get irritated when that thing doesn't fall into place so that person doesn't adhere to our ideas or work as per our plan or doesn't listen to us or accept our ideas or accept our plan or uh, accept us too yes that is also another big problem accepting others is difficult and getting accepted also in this world is difficult right so god wants us to accept ourselves to accept god's guidance and automatically when we are doing true service everybody will accept us and we'll be expecting nothing from others because everything will be given to us by god when we meditate he'll give us love and peace and happiness everything is attained from him so that's the method for liberation actually liberation from all the troubles and tribulations of life and dependency so baba says to have the consciousness of i am mixed with doing service means to be dependent on things on people on ideas on so many things a true server does not have those sanskars in simple terms a true server will not have these habits of asking and seeking and wanting and desiring and being dependent and uh, always looking out for appreciation looking out for uh, any form of uh, uh, pat on the back they are not doing that god is patting their back they don't need anybody else to it doesn't mean that you are egoistic or you like i don't want your help or i don't want your idea or i don't no 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 it's wrong it's not that don't think about it like that it's about accepting everybody's ideas putting yourself at the back and letting others move ahead wanting others to move ahead of you is what god wants us to become like instead of wanting to be ahead of everybody else that's really we thought that's iron age thought so god wants us to become golden age did he wants us to think like a golden age it's so so i leave you with this beautiful beautiful blessing think about it there's so many different aspects which cannot be discussed in just 10 minutes think about them and if i have missed out something do mention them in the comments that yes this can be taken as this also so i leave you with this beautiful vardhan have a blessed day stay safe stay home om shanti